Okay, I just thought that I would give a run through on things to pack for the dog show. Um, I don't have everything out here. Some of it is in the garage, mostly the big stuff. And some of it I just need to um, gather it from different places of the house. But I thought I'd give a quick rundown on what I've got here and things that you might want to think about bringing. Um, so I start off, A, I have my checklist. I've checked off a few things. I'm going to re-go through this when it's a bit closer to show time. Um, but I'll give you a quick glance at what I've got. This is just kind of the basic everyday stuff. And then this is more grooming stuff. So um, as far as grooming or why I have the tack box circled is because even if I have everything that goes into there, I still need to put the tack box into the car. So that is why tack box is, is check mark because I have it, um, but it's not into the car yet. Um, so I'll go through this a bit um, at the end quickly. But first thing we have up is the tack box. Um, and you don't need a fancy tack box or anything like that. You can just use whatever you find it works best. We have a toy. I don't think I have a toy on my checklist, but it's always nice to have a toy or two for your dog, especially if you're going to stay in a hotel or something. It's just nice to have some toys to keep your puppy entertained. Um, behind him, I have these papers, which are the waivers, because right now with COVID, some places are still requiring waivers, so I've just got the waivers there and ready to go. Paper towel for any messes and that kind of thing. Um, here we have his head pillow for him to relax his head on, um, either while we're waiting or while grooming. Here we have a few different hairsprays, um, depending on what you like and your weather conditions and that kind of thing. Sometimes I'll do the base in that one, and then I'll move on to the Rotero podium ones. Um, and then we've got the black spray here. Um, that's for if you've sprayed up your black dog and you've given him a few too many white chunkies in his, in his top knot, you know, just cover it up so he doesn't look like you've left him with a lot of chunkies. Um, here we have our black um, bands for doing up his actual show top knot as he is a black dog. We have two different spray bottles. One of them has a conditioning spray and one of them is just water. We have mousse. You can use there's many different types of mousses. Um, I really like this one. Um, it's actually a human one. I like it. Um, here we have um, this is a really old shampoo. I'm definitely not taking this, but I just have a bottle of shampoo. You'd want a bottle of shampoo and conditioner if you're going to do neck baths at the show. Um, you'll also need a tub. I don't have a tub here to show you, but you want just a shallow tub that you can fill with water. Um, so when your dog is laying over the edge of the table, you can kind of lay it right underneath them on a chair or a stool or something and then you would like want a cup of some kind to be able to um, dunk the water and shampoo and stuff onto the dog um, and then you want to condition the dog after and that kind of thing so if you're going to um, be neck bathing at the show you want to bring along shampoo and conditioner poop bags of course ever important this is just Another spray that's out here that I sometimes use. This is a texturizing spray. Elastics. Most dog shows will supply you with elastics for your um, show number. However, it's always nice to kind of have more than one. So I always kind of tend to keep a lot of them um, for if they break or just if you have multiple, you can have an easier time putting your bait into your armband. Um, here we have maintenance bands and wraps. Um, because when you're not showing, you'll probably still need to band or wrap up your dog's ears and top knot um, for um, at home in between shows or at the hotel or whatever. 
I have a band cutter for obviously cutting up the bands as needed. Here we have some hair clips because it's always good to have an extra set of hands if you don't have an extra set of hands, so this helps clip the hair back and out of the way. Here we have some vet wrap. I do need additional vet wrap um, that I haven't grabbed yet, um, but vet wrap is good for wrapping ears so that they are out of the way when you're doing your spray ups and getting to the ring so they don't get in the dog's mouth and everything like that, um, but you also don't get any, you know, as many kinks because the vet wrap um, is going to kink as bad as having it wrapped or even in like an actual band. So vet wrap is nice to have for that. Just don't forget to take it out like I have sometimes when I've gone into the ring. Um, palm covers, if your dog is especially male and likes to pee on the front legs, you don't want him to pee on his beautifully freshly washed needing to go in the ring. Palms. Chin rest, again, for grooming, making sure you have a clamp that goes with it. Um, some people like chin rest, some people don't. Just depends on what your point of view is, but if you want one, make sure you bring it. Combs, I like to bring a multitude of different combs with me. I have my longer one that I tend to use in like um, combing at the top knot. We'll sometimes use it for some spray up stuff, that kind of thing. I have this really fine fluffing comb. Um, to really get hopefully that nice finish um, and then I just have high them my basic regular kind of comb um, to use as needed. I also have a little pick. Now I wish it didn't have these little balls at the end but I couldn't find one locally that didn't have them um, but this can sometimes help you just to pick up those little ends as you're trying to spray up your top knot so that you get as much um, lift and and separation as you would like with that here we have our rat tail comb it's seen some things it's not very straight anymore um but this is a really nice rat tail comb um, it's got kind of a bit of a fatter end which is just nicer on the dog's head and that's also got some nice wide teeth as well and you need these obviously for parting the hair, um, for putting in your show bands and that kind of thing. Your pin brush, of course, what you'll use mostly on your top knot hair and such. Slicker brush for, you know, all your kind of body coat, that kind of thing. Um, shears, of course, so you're going to want to bring shears. It's probably good to have at least a couple in case you drop one or a different, um, different types, straights, curves, um, chunkers, or whatever, if you'd like. Um, so that's kind of the main grooming stuff I have. We can switch over here. Obviously you have a leash of some kind to bring your dog to and from the show. I like to use this instead of a stand drawer because it takes up a little bit less space um, and is a little bit easier to maneuver in tight spaces. Hi, Riggy. Don't mind him, he hasn't had a bath yet this week. Um, and then a dustpan and broom for cleaning up your messes. If there's a lot of you, you might want a full-sized um, broom and dustpan to clean up your hair so you're leaving your area cleaner. I also bring this tub with me, which just kind of gets the bigger stuff that doesn't fit easily into my tack box. Um, things like extension cords, the hair dryer, the flat iron, um, a pair of shoes, um, that kind of thing. So that's about all I have as far as what I have down here for us to actually look at. But we'll take a really quick look through this list here. So obviously you need your table and then you want a table bed. Poodles have to be on the table for a decent length of time for grooming and for waiting. Um, so you want a kind of nice comfy bed to make sure that they are as comfy as they can be. Um, you can use different types of beds. Um, some people may even use just these um, anti-fatigue mats, but I like a bit of a thicker bed, especially for laying down on, but some people don't like something super thick for them to stand on because it's, you know, it's too, they sink into it or that kind of thing, so they find it more tiring, so it just depends on your point of view. Obviously you need water and bowl for your dogs. Um, some dogs won't drink water away from home, some dogs will, um, but water and bowl. 
We already covered those. You want a chair for yourself to sit in. Um, if you're outside, you want things like a tent, uh, shade screens, um, fan and batteries if it's going to be really hot out. You obviously need your crate and a bed if you desire in your crate. Show lead and collar, obviously. Bait, um, a cooler for putting your bait and bottled water and your lunch in, that kind of thing. A phone charger and if you have one of those portable charging um, things that you can charge your phone off of if you're not going to have power. Um, show clothes, obviously, if you don't wear them to the show, if you wear other clothes, bring your show clothes. Uh, sunscreen and bug spray. Uh, towels, you know, if you're going to be doing any bathing or if you want to put a wet towel down where your dog stands outside the ring, that kind of thing. Um, make sure you bring along a few towels. Um, and then the extension cord is really important if you're either using a generator or if you um, do have power inside, you want to make sure it's long. I think most call for at least 50 feet, um, but the longer the better in a lot of situations. So that's all I can kind of think of in my basics. Now we've gone through most of these things on the grooming list, so I won't go into them too detailed. Hair meaning if you want to bring along wigs or that kind of thing. Um, the flat iron, I don't have that down here, but if you want to flat iron ears, some people don't like flat iron ears because they find them that the ears are too kind of sleek and not don't have enough body. But a lot of people like the flat iron um, because you usually get at least some um, kinked hair from having it in the, the wraps or whatever on your way to the show. Um, clippers and cord. I thought I had pulled these out, but you just kind of want your, you know, your cordless clippers to bring along so that you can do any touch-ups of clipped areas. Um, bringing the cord along is great too because that way you won't run out of power by accident. Um, but those, that's kind of what I have on my list and what I would pack for a dog show. Whenever I am doing this and I am going through my form, I always keep a pen with me because you will remember things as you start packing. Oh, I needed that. Having a pen to quickly write it down. Um, I also like to do up my list um, at least you know, a week or whatever ahead of time because that way you can go and think it through. Um, suddenly something pops into your mind that you're like, oh yes, I need to bring that. Um, you can add it onto your list. Um, I have a main list that I have on my computer, but then I have also have a list on my phone for if I'm out and about and I suddenly remember, oh yes, I need to remember to bring that. Then I um, can write that down and add it to my master list. Um, so those are my idiots being idiots. Um, so yeah, so I hope that was helpful to you in what you um, may want to bring along to a dog show. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll try and add it to the description below. But um, I think you're doing pretty good if you have most of these things along with you. And yeah, thanks for watching.